Hi, I'm Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. I am super excited to be covering this. Ever since I heard about them doing a Build-A-Figure Amazo with the three figures, I, I've just been thrilled about it. And I'm really looking forward to putting them together and seeing kind of how they did it and stuff. We're going to be looking at three of the Young Justice two-packs today. Just a little something. I bought these from Toys R Us online. Uh, I saw them when they just popped up on there, and I had to nab them. I was very, very excited about them. And so I'm really looking forward to uh, tearing these things apart and putting them together. We're going to start off with the first two pack, which is the Martian Manhunter and then Miss Martian. Now, Miss Martian, we actually debuted the figure. We had the exclusive showing her off, so I'm really excited to be looking at her. Kind of the same packaging that we see. They just variate it because they put the Amazo figure. Uh, kind of tells you what's in there. It's a little bit of a misnomer, though, because from what I understand, he, the, this one has the left leg and the right leg, and this kind of shows the lower torso. Uh, and stuff as well. So I'm kind of curious as to how it's all going to go together. Now on the back, you can see they've got uh, Martian Manhunter. There's Megan, Megan and uh, a little brief bio. We also see the other packs with the plus symbols that tells us that will make us an Amazo. But enough about that. Let's open them up. This is just too cool. All right. Now you can see there's where the legs are laid across the bottom. We don't get any torso with this at all. So, but that is kind of cool. I hope that's life size. Wouldn't that be neat? Because I can't remember how big he was. So we'll just pop these puppies right out of here. Martian Manhunter looks great. Look at that. I mean, great ridge. Look at that sculpt. They actually did an excellent job. You know, I, Bill Benicke explained to me about the the design and making them look heroic with the fists and stuff, but to be honest with you, I, the more I see it, the less I dig it. Not only that, I think these elongated torsos really bother me as far as the look. I like the the back of the cape, even got a little bit of sculpting there. Got some nice boots going on. Not much in the way of articulation. Of course, these don't really have any anyhow. And uh, these, he's not going to be sitting down piloting uh, anything anytime soon. So that's that's kind of lame. But hey, we knew they were just statues anyway, right? <laughs> they were just going to stand there. Now, McGann looks awesome. I think it's a good sculpt. I think she should have been smiling because she smiles a lot more uh, than that. She's got the black stripe right down her cape. Kind of more of the older, traditional Martian Manhunter looking outfit that's kind of neat. She's got the little skirt and then she's got so, her little boots there. Looks good all the way around. But this is actually a very, very cool figure. And, and I like it a lot. And together they stand. You can kind of see the height there. So that's super cool. I think they did good. I would like to have a stand for her because it looks like she's going to have a little bit of trouble standing. And we've got, let's go. All right, I'm getting, I've got two legs here, just popping them right out. Don't make me get tough with you. So here's the legs. Man, this is going to be cool. Look at that, the metallic paint. Oh, we can look at that later. I'm just excited. These are cool. Next up, oh, wait a minute. As I was pitching this thing around, look what I found. I found a stand. So, it's kind of a... It's an okay stand. Got a little bit of legal stuff there, but it didn't really say who she is or anything. So we can just pop that right on there. And now, voila, she can stand. But, I mean, they could have thrown in one for Martian Manhunter. But anyway, let's go ahead and get number two. Again, now, one thing I like about this is this two-pack actually gives us two fresh figures we've never had before, which I think is awesome. Now, here we are, looking at Rachel Ghoul and Chester, two figures again that we've never had before. Now this one says that they're going to get this gives us our two arms right here. You see that? So it gives you the right arm and the left arm. A little bit on the packaging, you can see this is kind of the traditional packaging. They're going to be making a change in the packaging soon with the uh, change in the storyline, and then the back again shows uh, Rache, Cheshire, and also how we can put the things together. Let's get these open too. Man, this is going to be neat, isn't it? 
All right. Uh, there is a stand right there for, and it's. It, I found it right down there in the bottom, so don't lose it because I didn't originally see it. I just pulled it out from right there. I really dug the Amazo figure when I saw it. I thought, I mean, it really had a very cool styling to it. Race has always been one of my favorite villains. I know that they wanted to have Cheshire because of Red Arrow, but uh, I would have liked to have had Italia. I think that would have been kind of neat. Arms, we can look at them in a minute, and but they don't bend it or anything like that. All right, Ra's al Ghul. He's got kind of a Wolverine haircut going on here, but that's all right. More of his traditional style outfit. You know, to me, he almost looks a little bit, they could repaint this and make him Wotan, couldn't they? Wouldn't that be wild? I think his mustache is a little much. I think it should have come out a little bit further on his face, his little Fu Manchu. He's got his little boots, kind of like the riding boots and things like that. He's also got the heroic pose. I like his little sash around the middle. This is really... I, I like this figure. I like how they, they sculpted the cape. That's very, very cool. Now this is Cheshire. Okay, I think they did a good job on her too. I mean, nice looking mask. Got some size right here uh, along her side, on both sides. Got her little skirt. Her arms are much thinner, but they've got some detail to them. I think that, that they look really nice. They like lines in this, in this line. Have you noticed that? She's wearing more of a mini skirt, showing a little leg right there at the top, and then she's got these thigh-high boots. And she also comes with a stand. Now again, this is a fresh two-pack, two figures that we've never had before. I actually like this, that they're giving us a Build-A-Figure, that in order to do it, we're getting fresh figures. We're not getting a bunch of recycled parts. Kudos to Mattel for that. I think that that's an excellent thing. Now finally, we do have a replicated figure here, which is going to be in the Kid Flash, but <clears throat> here you show it. This is going to be his torso. I hope it's a little bit more than a torso because uh, we're going to need his head too. But uh, on the back, you see Barry and Wally. You see the way it's laid out in a brief bio if you can read if you want to. Now I am excited to be getting Barry. I don't want you to get me wrong in the comment I'm about to make. But you know what I think would have been a great uh, two-pack to do this? Leave Barry as a single and I know all you Flash fans are like, no, 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 we need Barry, we need Barry. And you know what? I, I kind of agree with you, but you know what would have been a great two-pack? Green Arrow and Red Arrow. Then we could have got them both. We, it would have been an entire line of two packs without a single recycled figure and all really figures that, hey, we all fans dig. Okay, so I've got two pieces here. I got a Mezo's head and a Mezo's torso. I'm really looking forward to putting them together, but I will wait. Okay, no stand with this one. You see across the bottom, there is no stand. I guess they're figuring the boys can stand up. Come out of there. I don't know if you could see this very well with the packaging, but that's kind of how they see how it's supposed to be his torso. So that's kind of neat. Barry's a good looking figure. Still kind of lanky. I don't mind it on him so much because he is a speedster. Nice bolts on the side of his head. That's a big thing with me with uh, flash figures to make sure that you have bolts that stick outside of the head instead. Not, nice head movement and things. It would have been nice to have bolts on the side of the legs, but I'm, probably, I'm pretty sure that'd be an expensive redo. Now, in comparison, we've got uh, Barry, and then we've got John. Now, if you notice, John is taller than Barry. I think that's appropriate, and I, I appreciate the scaling. Okay, now here we have Wally, right here with this paint and things. Uh, this looks to be a little bit of a different paint job. Bear with me just a second. Let's see. Yeah, there's my Wally. Okay, there is a difference in a paint job here. Notice that there aren't the side ridge lines on the side of them, so this is, this is more of his classic look. Um, of what he actually looks like in the comics when he first started. Um, you, don't get a, you don't get the lines on the side. Uh, you, got, you got a little bit of a black belt going around. I think that's kind of cool. See, 
See so, yeah, that's right. He's got the black belt. This again is this is the new one. He doesn't have that. That's pretty good. They look the same from the back. All in all, though, um, I, I'm glad to have this figure because sometimes these lines, to be honest with you, bother me a little bit. But again, I think I would have preferred to have two fresh figures. But I am glad to get Barry. But you know what we need to get to? Amazo. Let's see if you can get these. See, you've got Flash and Kid Flash. You've got Martian Manhunter and Miss Martian. Then you've got Cheshire and Raish Al Ghul. Let's do them over here, kind of get it more centered and stuff. In case any of you have like OCD and something and you're about to attack the, the screen because it's not done right. So that's cool. Now you got four heroes against two bad guys, so they need an equalizer. So let's put a mezo together. Nice joints. Look at that. That actually has some nice joining right in there. Look at that. That's good. Pop the head on. He looks even meaner than he did it when we debuted him. He was another figure that we had the exclusive on. Now, to me, whoops, to me his face looks a little different than the way we debuted it. I'm going to have to go back and actually look at the pictures. You're not going to want to squeeze him too hard, because if, if you do what I just did, of course he goes back together pretty well. Look at this guy. Is that not cool? Now, you can go to the website, aftimes.com, and get a good look at him up close. Lots of lines on him. Metallic paint, that looks great. Looks like he ought to have jointed knees as tall as he is. I mean, this is a huge figure. Look. Dude, that guy's huge. Here's John. He's one of the taller members of the league. This is cool. Whoops. He might be a little difficult to play with on an ongoing basis. This is when we really, really need to have some joints so that, I mean, we can, we can really play and not knock their arms off or something like that. But anyway... I think he, this is very, very cool. I paid 60 bucks basically for this Amazo, but I got a lot for my money. I got, um, actually I got uh, all new figures but one, and then he kind of makes up for that. So actually I think this was a great thing that Mattel did. Um, this, this is really, really awesome. Personally, I think it's well worth the money. I think it's worth the investing in. You get a lot of quantity for your uh, bang for your buck. So I dig it. So, you know, I like to look out for you, the folks, and I really think this was worth the money. Well, this is Doc Owen with Action Figure Times. I'm not going to show them to you close up because I tried to do it this way. If you want to see some close ups, if you go to aftimes.com, we'll be glad to show them to you.